How's it going, everyone? It's your boy, Jose, a.k.a. the YC Geek, a.k.a. TNG, a.k.a. your Elden Lord. Yours. A.k.a. the guy who's been, whoo, really struggling to get through some of the garbage that Hollywood has been pumping out. Like, the shit that flows out of there is so rage-inducing that I feel at times like I'm gonna either pass out from just shaking my head in disbelief, like, you know, just... Oh, or or just screaming in fucking rage at the screen. And, you know, it's it just something stupid that I've watched. And speaking of stupid, uh, boy, oh boy, I just watched all six episodes of Moon Knight. And man, that show was trash. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was it was it was super trash. Um, you know, I did I did plow through it. I haven't done that with Halo or Picard. Uh, I refuse to watch Picard and I refuse to watch Halo. Um, I won't be giving them money. Fuck you. Fuck you, Paramount Plus. But Moon Knight, I was willing to give it a try. And I'll be giving my collective thoughts on those other properties as well as the Rings of Power and, and what Hollywood thinks adaptations are nowadays and just the packs that they are. They can't make anything good on their own. They have to ruin everything. But I want to give my thoughts on Moon Knight. Now, if you watch some of my previous videos, you know that in my opinion, the MCU is in a very bad state. It's we're like real bad. We're talking like Titanic. It's already hit the fucking iceberg. It's already split in half. Like this is the state of the MCU. It's split in half and the ship is fucking sinking into the sea. They are completely directionless. They are losing the anchor cast of the Avengers. You know, Robert Downey Jr. is gone. Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans. All these people are, are disappearing. They're, they're, they're done. Uh, they have no villains. They're villainless, which God knows that's one of the key things you need for a superhero property are especially in the MCU. You better tap into some of the most iconic villains in comic books and they just aren't. Uh, it's a shit show. It's a shit show. They're losing money with their movies or barely breaking even. And I, and I really have to stress this part out because a lot of people don't seem to understand that. Um, 2021 was a terrible year for the MCU. It was awful. When you make a movie that costs 200 million to make and then you factor in maybe like what 50 to 100 million dollars for marketing and your box office is like 400 million, that's bad. That's real bad. You need to double that to be in the black to be profitable. You don't make 200 uh 200 million to make then spend another 100 million and then that's 300 million dollars and you think you get 400 million. You think you get all that bad? No, they don't the studios don't get all that. They have to double so, you know, but lo and behold, we're in, we're in 2022. Last year was a wash for Marvel. Absolutely. And, and, and that's not even counting the terrible television shows, but whatever. Um, so we can only hope that this year is going to be different, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm like. I'm, I'm like, please let it be different. Even though all signs are pointing to no, after all, we have a Dr. Strange, uh, film coming out this week, which I'll be reviewing. I have tickets for Thursday. The next door film in, is on the horizon and all these properties look like they're going to be in rough waters to say the least. Um, but Disney keeps pumping out shows as well. And we have Moon Knight, a character I can bet the vast majority of people have never heard of. And I'm not shitting on you for that. I'm not because uh, I don't blame you. Who the fuck has heard of Moon Knight? I mean, growing up, I, uh, I had heard very little of Moon Knight. As a kid, I was fortunate because I got exposed back in the very early 90s when Marvel had these uh, Universe Series trading card sets, which I got. I, I have the Spider-Man one. They made a specific Spider-Man one. I need to get Series 2 and 3. I got to go on eBay and see if people have the complete set. Uh, anyway, they had these tons of cards that you would trade with your friends. You'd open up the packs and you'd bitch because you got some garbage thing and your friend got a fucking hologram and you're looking at him with hate in your eyes. And... You would try, you know, and, and the back of the cards, they usually had like a little bio of the characters. Those, those were fucking awesome. And I remember that being the first time I saw a lot or, or had heard of a lot of these obscure Marvel characters like Nomad and Sleepwalker and Moon Knight. And I remember thinking back then when I saw the Moon Knight card, I was like, yo, this, guy, this guy's costume is pretty cool. I was like, yo, this, this costume is pretty fucking cool. I, I didn't say fucking back then. Cause I would get my ass beat, but I thought it was, I thought in my head it was fucking cool. And outside voice said it was pretty cool, but I didn't get any of his comics. I didn't have much, you know, money growing up. And so what we did get was usually like a occasional 
video game or comics for characters that I was more invested in, like Spider-Man or the X-Men. But as I got older and I got access to a Barnes and Nobles in my neighborhood, which would have these like huge hardcover collections for comics that I could just sit down and read and not have to pay for. Uh, and not to mention access to the internet. I learned a little bit more about Moon Knight and a lot of these other Marvel characters. So the point being, I came into the show a little more knowledgeable of Moon Knight than the casual viewer, but not an expert by any means. And I thought that's a good way for me to come into the show, right? Because I'm not going to, you know, have any held strong belief on this character one way or another. I'm going into it fresh and with a healthy appreciation of Oscar Isaac, who I think is a great actor, uh, who's just unfortunately been in trash movies. So, you know, I'm like, okay, let's go. So I watched Moon Knight coming in here hoping for Disney to not even hit a home run. Like, I don't need a home run out of you right now because they don't seem capable of doing that anymore. All I wanted was just like a line drive. You know, maybe get to like second base, get some interesting stuff with the Egyptian mythology, establish a cool new hero, you know, that, that kind of stuff. But holy shit, Disney did not fail to fail. I, that's, that should be my tagline for them. You just never cease to fail. This show sucked. This show sucked. And I can hear, already hear people say, oh, Jose, oh, you're just too harsh on these things. You got to turn your brain off. Do you hear yourself? Turn my brain off. I have to dumb myself down to appreciate this dribble? No. Now, look, I will say this. Moon Knight was better than Hawkeye. It was better than the Eternals. I mean, fuck. Anything is better than the Eternals. Me dropping this fucking planters thing on my big toe is more exciting and more emotion that you'll ever get than anything in the fucking Eternals. But God damn it. This show was boring. It was nonsensical. At times, just outright insulting to you, the fan. You, the fan, deserve better, okay? I... I I don't know why we've gotten at this point in, in our culture, um, especially when it comes to like geek stuff, like Star Wars and Star Trek and Halo and all this stuff and, and, and you know upcoming Lord of the Rings and all these things that fans feel like getting a sandwich made out of two shits in, is like instead of three shits is okay and what they deserve. No, 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 no. You deserve a, a sandwich with no shits. In it, not two shits, not one shit, no shits. Just because it's less shittier than other shit properties doesn't change it from being shit. And that's probably the most I've ever said shit in rapid succession. But that's what this show was. It was shit. It was sh it, uh, uh, it was pure shit out of a sphinx's ass. And, and let me get the let me get the positives out of the way. I'm gonna get them out of the way because there's not many. Oh, there's so fucking few. Oscar Isaac's really nails it especially in episode five, which is probably um, my favorite out of the six. Um, you know, episode five, he's exploring. Um, he's in like an, in an asylum of his own soul and he's exploring his own memories. He does the fragmented tortured soul so well. And there's some really dark scenes in there. And, and I like that. I was digging that. Uh, like I said, episode five probably to me was the best out of the six when they delved into his past. I like the whole is this real or is this like a mental construct to escape my own insanity deal? That was cool. I like the music a lot. The music was really good. Uh, his costume, man, I really fucking love that Moon Knight costume. Of course, we don't get to see it very much because Moon Knight is relegated to the backseat in his own show. But the costume was fucking cool. I would love to see, I can't wait to see some cosplayers doing it because it, it was like, like that for the longest time. I'm like, man, there's nothing that I would want to cosplay in the MCU. And that character, that, that, when I saw him in the Moon Knight, not the suit one, the actual Moon Knight with the cape and everything, that really made me go, wow, I want to cosplay that. Uh, but those mom moments, they're so few and far between. So very little. The, the show drags. It was boring. The action that was there, oftentimes they would break it by having Mark or Steven black out. Like he would do the, uh, and then they would skip and then, Action scene over, all the enemies are dead. And that got old really fast. The first episode when they do it once or twice, okay, cool. This time, I was like, come on, man. They would constantly have the action off screen. Off screen constantly. Like, I don't know if it was budgets. I don't know what the fuck their minds, what, what, where 
they were at with that. Like, come on. The characters were fucking stupid. Like, I, I don't mean like, oh, this is garbage. I mean like stupid, like they were making the dumbest decisions ever. The avatars and the Egyptian gods in this show were portrayed as morons. Absolute morons. Tarawet. I, I, I think I said it right, Tarot, the hippo is the fucking biggest buffoon. And I know people, these stupid fucking Marvel fans that will swallow anything, they're like, ooh, they're tweeting, oh my god, I love this hippo because she's so sweet. Shut the fuck up, you maidenless tarnish. This is why Marvel keeps churning out garbage. You're telling me that a deity who has ferried the dead for millennia, for who knows how long, maybe even longer, needs cards to remember her line, oh, there's no card for this. I don't remember this. That she needs to roll up a scroll to remember what she tells people? Come on. And because Mark has split personalities, he has two souls that work independent of each other in the underworld? This is awful fucking writing that makes no sense. And you want me to sit here and fucking clap for it? It's fucking trash. And why? Because Layla, a bootleg falcon by the end of the show, gets more fucking action than the main character, Moon Knight? It was, it was a disjointed mess. This show didn't cross the finish line. It, it didn't cross the finish It barely started the race before it tripped, smashed its face into the fucking pavement, and fell down a hill. This, this was at times, at times, this was Eternals bad. That's how bad it was getting. Uh, especially, like I said, when Tara and the Egyptian gods were on it, it was like, so they're so fucking stupid. I mean, for fuck's sake, the last episode was just a bunch of, t a, a, a ton of what the fuck moments tied together. You had Harrow. Harrow, with his cane, is strong enough to one shot five avatars, five fucking avatars whose gods are not imprisoned in stone. But, but his still is. And we don't even get to see that because, again, the action's fucking off screen. The entire Avatar fight, off screen. Mark says he saved Conchu's life, or Steven says, Oh, we just saved your life. So there's that. He didn't. When him and Ahmed are fighting, Conchu goes, Mark, and he just teleports away. It's not like he needed, like, he was teleporting away the whole fucking fight anyways, doing constant shifting back and forth. So don't, and he teleports in left and right anyway. So. It's not like he was fucking saved. When Amit is released, she doesn't even know who the fuck Harrow is. Who? And they said that's her avatar. How is he her avatar when she doesn't know who the fuck he is? She's like, who, to who do I owe my gratitude to? The fucking avatar that you've been given powers. How the fuck did he get powers? Dude, this show is so fucking dumb. I, I, in episode like I, in episode five, terror. I the, I tell you, awful. The dope. These souls being dropped into the sands of the dua, and she's all this is evil, and that convinces her to help Mark and Steven. But that doesn't happen until episode six, when they're already when they're stopped in the roadblock. So with well, a moment, some in the moment someone touches the sand, they start turning to stone. But Mark is able to walk on it with no problem until he has to deliver his dramatic speech to Steven. I, I don't know if the creators, they had just seen Frozen, and they were like, oh, we should have, you know how Anna turned to ice, and Elsa was sobbing over? Let's do that, but with sand. The reverse of ice. It's, it's, this show sucked. It sucked. Okay, it was mindless. It was boring. It barely had the titular character in it, and anytime he was, he was upstaged by Layla, who I fucking couldn't stand. She was such a stupid character and, 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 a, and a constant of the, of the MCU now, too. Um, you know, you, it, it, at one point, you had fucking Khonshu rearrange the night sky. This motherfucker warps the sky. Not, not, I, I'm, when I tell you he warps the sky, I mean he literally reverses the sky to go back thousands of years so that they can look at a constellation and nobody shows the fuck up. Nobody thinks like, oh shit, we should call the fucking Avengers or something. Nobody cares. Nobody cares that the fucking, I, I, I don't know if he's rearranging the sky or rearranging the Earth's orbit. I don't know what, or it's just a, an illusion. I don't get it. I don't know. But it, if not, this motherfucker just rearranged the entire universe. 
and you're telling me that no one fucking cared? It's the same complaint I had with the Eternals when the fucking Celestial is ripping out of the very earth. No one shows up. No one. Marvel, Disney, stop making everything a cosmic fucking threat, you shit hacks. You can make your series street level threats and still have great storytelling. In fact, look at Daredevil, I, uh, which will always, the Daredevil Netflix series is the best Marvel property there is. And it's not even told by Marvel. And it will be better than anything that's on Disney Plus right now. Anything, Marvel or Star Wars or anything related. And I recommend anyone with a Disney Plus subscription, don't get one, but if you have somebody, or if Verizon's still doing that deal where you get a year free, do that. If you have Verizon service. Check out Daredevil. One episode of Daredevil is worth more than the entirety of Moon Knight. Put that on your fucking scales, Tarot, you obnoxious character. What, because she's adorkable? That, that means we just have to... Shut the fuck up, Twitter. Shut up, Twitter. Do yourself a favor. Throw yourself right in the dumpster with, with this show. Okay? So there you go. There you go. I suffered through this trash so you wouldn't have to because I'm your Elden Lord and that's how kind I am because at the end of the day, you can go never having watched Moon Knight and it won't mean a damn thing. You won't have missed out on anything. Not a single fucking thing. If anything, you'll have like three or four hours of your life back, which by the way, Disney, what? fuck your 10 minute credits, man. The credits felt longer than the episodes at time. Whatever, you want, you want my rating of Moon Knight? Here's my rating. It's, it's, it's not as bad a failure as Hawkeye was, but it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't average. It's just a below average show. Okay. If I had to give it like a numerical score, it's like a three out of 10 at best, at best. And that's with the other things slightly lifting it up out of the, the fucking sands of, of the underworld that I felt like I was getting trapped in watching this stupid fucking show. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the show. That's my review. Moon Knight. Six episodes of my life that I'll never get back. And, you know, go ahead and skip it. Unless you are really, unless you are like a diehard MCU person, you're like, I gotta watch everything. Then I guess watch it and, and tell me how fucking amazing this show was. Hit, leave it in the comments. In fact, if you enjoyed the show, tell me why. If you think I'm, if you agree with me, definitely hit that in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to share it. Let other people know. If you don't, hit the dislike button. That's what it's there for. But as always, Smash that subscribe button right now if you're enjoying this kind of content. And as always, please take care of each other. Stay safe.